Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2021. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Preserve Underlying Transparency, which is a great way to apply textures and videos to transparent layers, such as text, logos, or any graphics that support transparency. On the bottom layer of this composition, I just have a text layer. I typed out the word Mike. Above that, I have an image of some flowers that I took in Nantucket. I added some scale keyframes on it, so it's just scaling in. Really simple stuff. Let's say that I want to take the image of the flowers and put it inside the text layer. I'll turn on the visibility of the flower layer above it. So I'll click on the visibility. Then come over to this column where you see the T on top. If you don't see the T, click on this button at the bottom, toggle switches and modes. You can also use the keyboard shortcut F4. The T stands for Preserve Transparency. So I'm going to come down to the flower layer and I'm just going to check the box under that T column to preserve the underlying transparency. And just like that, now that layer is masked into the text layer. And if I go back and play it, you'll see the animation is playing through the text. Let's do another example with the text layer. So the text layer is on the bottom. Above it, I have this looping grungy animation and all this grit. I want to put this video inside the text layer. No problem. I'm going to come over here to the T column, the preserve transparency. I'm just going to check the box for the looping animation. And just like that, if I hit the space bar, now I've got that looping animation inside the text. If you have multiple layers with the preserve transparency on, so I have this looping texture and the flower above the text layer, I can just move the looping animation. And as I do this, you're going to see that flower layer is revealed. When I hit the space bar, you'll see that half the text has the flower, half the text has that looping animation. The one gotcha, or the thing that you need to be aware of when using this preserve underlying transparency, is that there cannot be any solid background colors. This composition, this is on a transparent background. The blue is just a background color. If I was to add a solid, such as this brown solid shape layer here that fills up the entire composition, when I add that flower layer, even with the preserved transparency checked, nothing happens. And all I need to do is just turn off the visibility of that shape layer and it'll work. But if you did need some background elements, no problem. Just create a new composition and drag that composition right onto the new composition and everything will work fine. And that is how you use preserve underlying transparency. My name is Mike Murphy and that is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2021. Cheers.